Right, Daniel Andrews, we're about the same age, he and I. He's, uh, I'm 52, he's 51. If I was to finish up work tomorrow and was eligible for a pension, I can't get it till I'm 67. Uh, he's going to get one right now, $300,000, a private driver, we're told, for the rest of his life. He can also go out there and get a job. I think this is uh, bloody rich, Michael. Yeah, rich is one word. <laughs> it's a four-letter word. <laughs> There's probably a few others one might want to throw around. But, I mean, look, the, the average person listening out there who's uh, got a self-managed super fund, Peter, and don't want to uh, tap into the principal would have to have something akin to, I think, $6 million dollars to be able to, on average, 5% drawdown, take 300000 a year away. Now, very few people have that. The few that do, the federal government's coming after them. But, the, you know, th this is another example, I think, of the haves and the have-nots as divided in the public arena. Now, um, Daniel Andrews is doing nothing extraordinary or individualistic here. These are the rules. But the average Victorian is right, I think, to question with the state finances in the way they are and having been left in that way after his tenure, uh, whether such a large early pension is justified. I mean, at the end of the day, I suppose Mr Andrews could say, listen, you know, I'm a Labor man from the left, I'm one of the, you know, one of the workers and solidarity and all this sort of stuff, I'm not going to take it. But I don't think he will. I don't think he will either. Uh, one thing he has done, he's flushed out but, uh, Premier Palaszczuk, Caroline, she's come out and said, oh, I'm absolutely committed to staying in the top job. Well, Andrews was saying that for months and months and months. He's gone. I think it's March next year, or might even be May. She will then take over from Beatty as the longest-serving Labor Premier of Queensland. I reckon when she beats Beatty, apparently they don't like each other, when she beats Beatty, she'll do an Andrews. Yeah, next day, maybe. Who knows? Look, I mean, when was the last time we could believe anything a politician says? So, honestly, as soon as they say, I'm committed to doing this or that, you can kind of bet your bottom dollar. It's not a question of if, but when. We've already heard concerns over her health in recent weeks uh, of a mysterious medical episode that she hasn't really explained. There's a lot of grumbling within the party about her. So, I do think that it is quite likely that she won't make it to the next election, but it will be up to her because it, uh, the state Labor rules make it very difficult for anyone to roll a sitting a Premier. So it will really be her call, it seems. We will watch it closely. Carolyn and Michael, thank you both for your time.